told you, thou shalt live. I will. Will you, Carla, have this man Kevin, whose hand you hold to be your wedded husband, and solemnly promise that you will be unto him a tender, loving, and true wife through sunshine and shadow alike, and be faithful to him so long as you both shall live. Let us pray. Almighty God of heaven, we stand before you today, and these two beautiful young people have agreed that they would take each other, that they would marry each other, that they would cherish each other, love each other, and be tender. Lord God, we pray this day that their I will is forever, that they would love one another to the end. So Lord God in heaven, we thank you that they were willing to bow to one another their love. And we thank you for it in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 In Ephesians chapter 5, one of my favorite chapters in the whole Bible, uh, in Ephesians chapter 5, we read of the husband and the wife. And it reads like this. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Wives, submit yourselves unto your own husbands as unto the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church, and he is the savior of the body. You see, Kevin has taken a place now where he represents Jesus Christ because he is the head of the house. He is to be her savior. He is to protect her, to love her, to care for her at all times. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. Jesus Christ was willing to die to save sinners like me. Jesus Christ gave his life. It says here, Kevin, that you are now going to marry this young woman, and the Bible says that you should love her as Christ loved the church. That's a tall word. That he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word. That he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but it should be holy and without blemish. So ought men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourisheth it and cherisheth it, even as the Lord the